What's up, you guys? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. It is time to award one of our seniors. It's time for Taysom Hill, and it's time to play back some of our more foolish moments on April Fool's Day. Let's go. The NCAA Division I Council has voted to allow spring athletes an extra year of eligibility due to COVID-19 shortening this season. New financial aid rules will allow teams to accommodate for recruits already signed as well as seniors staying an extra year. Winter athletes were not granted an extra year of eligibility. My heart really goes out to those seniors. I'm gonna miss them. One of those seniors is Yoli Childs, who was named to the Senior Class Award All-American second team. This season, Yoli averaged 22 points, shooting 57% from the field and 49% from three. He also became BYU's all-time career leader in rebounds this season, passing Kyle Collinsworth, who, by the way, was our last Coug to earn Senior Class Honors in the 2014-2015 season. Congrats to Yoli on the award. He absolutely deserves it. Now let's get some football in here, starting with Taysom time. We love any good thing going around about Taysom. We're, we're biased like that. Here's what New Orleans Saints head coach Sean Payton had to say in regards to Taysom Hill. Quote, our quarterback Drew Brees has announced he's coming back for his final season. I think Taysom sees himself as being a starting quarterback in this league, and we do too. So, it's fun to see Taysom in that Swiss Army Knife role, but it would be a lot of fun to see him as a starting quarterback in the league. And it's good to hear that we're not the only ones who think so. While we're on the NFL, let's get to some of our guys prepping for the NFL Draft. The cancellation of Pro Day hasn't stopped our Cougs from putting up some big numbers. Now I could stand here and read you all the numbers, but I wanna show you them in a fun way. So let's roll the highlights. Wishing those guys luck as they continue in their football careers. It's going to be weird not having them on the field for BYU, but one guy that will be on the field for BYU next season is center O-lineman James Empey. ESPN ranks James as the 10th best returning offensive lineman in the country. He has the highest pro football focus pass blocking grade among centers since 2018 and is ranked third nationally in run blocking grades. That's impressive. We did it, you guys. Somehow we made it through March. Today is April 1st, which makes it April Fool's Day. I love April Fool's Day. In fact, I had some big plans for today, but had to cancel them due to coronavirus, but it's okay, because instead I'm gonna show you guys some of our more foolish moments in BYU athletics. Some people say, you're the second coming of Jimmer, you know that. Yeah, I know, but that would hurt my three-point percentage if I missed it. Is that supposed to hold it? Uh... Wish I would have brought a jacket! <laughs> you picking your nose? Yeah. Ooh, isn't that plush? How'd the buns feel? <laughs> These guys don't care. They're here for a good time. 
Kiki Swano, and this is BYUSN right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. You guys, you can't prank me in the clothes. Oh, okay. I'll see you fools later.